a world record 48 roller coaster theme park is what we're looking at here today in park spotlight good googly moogly ladies and gentlemen welcome to another world created by old shadow and here they say welcome to another world construction time four years with many breaks this park does not claim to be realistic but it should be fun if you keep your hands and feet in at the rides you should survive it <laughs> okay you can look forward to 48 roller coasters and 16 flat rides to explore. Many <laughs> of the buildings are from the workshop, thanks to all the builders. Uh, they, and some of them have been rebuilt. All roller coasters, with one exception, are self-made. The park contains the following thematic areas. Fairytale, Westworld, Hyperspace, Pirate Bay, Movies, Ragnarok, and the hell you have to search. Oh, boy. <laughs> and... <laughs> oh, uh, it gets better. <laughs> they say on the Steam page. But attention, even very strong hardware can take up to 15 minutes to load. Well, good thing I waited until I got my new computer. We actually loaded this one up quite quickly. But here's the kicker. FYI, for a better performance, the park has been limited to only 10,000 visitors. But um. <laughs> Just an FYI, <laughs> most standard computers die in Planet Coaster upon reaching two or 3,000 guests. So thank you so kindly for limiting it to only 10,000. I have been sitting here on fast forward for the last 25 minutes, longer than it took to open the park, kicking out 6,000 of the 10,000 guests. We still got 4,000 in here, but oh my God, are we in for a treat today, ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready to get crazy, 48 roller coasters. I'm gonna have to make a list so we can hit them all up and make sure we've gotten them all. Are they good? Are they bad? Is this horrendous? Is this the worst spotlight idea I've ever picked? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna find out together. So let's get right on into it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. I don't know where the park entrance is. Usually on this map, it's around here at the bottom. And um, in, uh, we're just gonna drop down here. And if we stumble across the park entrance at any point, great. <laughs> what a mess. What a rigging mess. Oh, this is going to be hilarious. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's get the volume up a little bit. So uh, one thing I will say, I am grateful that this creator, they, they said like, oh, there's copywritten music in here. I set them to zero kilobytes. So um, I was like, okay, well, I'll just not download the copywritten stuff. I'll, I'll probably still get a copyright flag and have to re-edit the video and re-upload it. <laughs> But we'll see. Apparently, uh, all the music that was used, I had to remove it, and they at least suggested what those would be. Also, downloading the custom images and files, they password protected. <laughs> they put, they encrypted the zip files with a password, and I had to search through the page for the password. <laughs> this is a top secret park, you guys. Freaking top secret. Get ready to be amazed with uh, Speedy Gonzalez. Here's a look at all the stats. We're going to rip through these because we have 48 coasters. Assuming each coaster takes a minute or two, we're going to be going back to back to back to back coasters for the next freaking two hours. So Speedy Gonzalez, can I copy paste this into my page? Yes, I can. Great. Let's go. We're gonna do a uh, seat view because there's no uh, visitors sitting here. There's rats on the floor. Okay, uh, let's go. We ended up getting guests anyways. <laughs>
Wow, that actually had some length to it. Um, because I removed all the custom audio, I'm gonna have to remind myself to add audio to these coasters. Uh, I don't even think I have 48 tracks within Planet Coaster to the game itself to actually put on these, uh, these rides. I'm gonna have to get creative here. <laughs> so, there's so much I wanna say and, and very little time to talk in between these rides because as you can see, we're already going down the bug queue. We're gonna definitely skip all the flat rides, but all of these, everything in this park, I recognize. I've been around since Workshop Wednesdays back in the day. I've been around Planet Coaster since the beginning. I've seen almost everything that's ever been created and I've presented to you guys almost a half of that. So, they said they used the Workshop and basically everything in this park thematically has been taken from somebody else but i don't discriminate against fun that is allowed that is a rule that as long as you're not claiming to make it all yourself and they did not they in fact said i used the workshop in their description then it is completely fine do we have a fun little kitty song oh head in the clouds look at that they got a song for us but yeah you're allowed to use the workshop and you're allowed to have fun that's what the workshop is there for so again i don't uh discriminate there's nothing wrong with it but it's kind of hilarious because because it's like a trip down memory lane. We get to look at everything that's ever been created in Planet Coaster ever, all in this one park. <laughs> Let's go. There it is, uh, the bug. I gotta, I gotta remember to copy paste these into my checklist because I'm definitely going to lose track if I don't keep track. Uh, there's so much I want to say and so little time to do it, but we also have uh, all, all the. T <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a jam-packed episode. Let's let's go that <laughs> with that. My freaking goodness. Based off their description and like the the hilarious hints at like, you know, just to save on performance. I limited the park to only 10,000 guests. By the way, I'm getting like an average of 21 frames per second on this park, which is actually kind of phenomenal, considering how much insanity is in this park. So that's pretty good. I'll uh, try to remember to turn optical flow off on the coasters, because I know you guys, some of you guys prefer that. But if I end up leaving it on, um, it should help with the frames a little bit. I don't know. But I'm trying to present this in the best fashion possible, the best frame rate possible. Um, and here we are at another coaster. I didn't even get to finish my thoughts. So here we go. We got the Mystic Mouse. We're, there's a look at the ride stats while I copy paste this into my checklist here. This is coaster number three. Here we freaking go. We're going seat view right in the middle and off we go.
Oh my goodness, this com park is complete insanity. The theming for these coasters is just looking at other coaster tracks. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I was just saying that, uh, what are these guests doing? I was just saying in, um, okay, we got a train ride. We're not going on the rides or flat rides here today. We don't have enough time for that. We, I don't even know if we're going to get through all 48 coasters, which is, by the way, a world record on this channel. Oh my god, I keep losing my train of thought. This is just, uh, pure madness. What I wanted to say about this creator, based off them saying that, uh, you know, I'm reducing performance by limiting the game to 10,000 guests. This is one of the most out of touch creators I have ever seen submit something. A non Discord member, uh, just, you know, playing the game. You can tell that this creator is uh, somebody who basically still uses Internet Explorer, is uh, sitting in a dark room in a, in a cold basement, using MSN Messenger to still talk to their friends that are offline. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> somehow got their submission to me <laughs> and has no idea what is happening to this community. Oh my god, this song is not copyright free. Oh my god, how dare you. Okay, we have Jerry as the next coaster. Um, I'm definitely going to get a copyright strike on this video at some point. Hopefully I don't have to re-upload this video because it takes like four or five hours to upload in 4K. Here we go. Okay, talking, 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 don't want to get copyright strike, and we have arrived at the station. Now, when I'm making fun of the creator, just know that I'm teasing, it's all in good fun, everybody. Just having a, a bit of a laugh, but, excuse me, I, uh, I find it very humorous that here we are, seven years into Planet Coaster, they've been working on this for four years, and never have they ever uh, taken note or joined any communities or looked at what people are doing or talked on any discords or group chats about their creation. And that is completely fine, and that's where I get this, like, envision that they're sitting in a dark corner of their room on MSN Messenger just building something, because that's what I did back when I was uh, playing, like, RCT. You know, there was no community, I, I was in no communities, I did nothing, and I just built whatever the heck I wanted to. This person is just downloading crap, placing it down, making stuff, and uh, the years that you have gone by, year after year after year, has just ticked away as they've been lugging away at this park, just slapping people's stuff in here, and just go, 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 until they finally decided to, uh, you know, get an internet connection and upload this to me. <laughs> oh, we have a chairlift. We're not going on this. Let's just go at the exit now. Uh, what the heck? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, it's like everything that you, uh, we, we would critique and, and talk about and improve upon throughout the history of this uh, channel, uh, none of those things have been taken into consideration here. This is all but complete chaos. Um, the lands are all merging together. We have hyperspace over here, movie zone over there, but it all just kind of mashes together. Ragnarok over here, fantasy over there, pirate zone there. I mean, is this the center plaza or am I just confused? Oh my goodness gracious, this is absolute insanity. Um, I'm trying to talk and talk and talk because there's all sorts of sounds that I'm hearing are probably gonna get me copyright strike like movies from Star Wars like come on 
They said they removed all the copyright stuff. I don't believe that for a second. There's an R2-D2 right there on the right. Oh my freaking good googly moogly. This is all just way too much for me to handle right now. I need another coffee. Orbital strike. Here's another look at the coaster stats. We're getting right on this. Let's go. Look at all the coaster tracks. Oh my god. Holy freaking Toledo's. Let's, uh, Orbital Strike was that coaster. That was our fifth coaster of the day so far. Hopefully I'm not losing count or losing track. Uh, we are in a sci-fi area, so I think nighttime would be appropriate. There's a freaking Death Star over there. A lot, again, um, AT, AT, AT Walker? AT, -A -T Walker? I don't even know. Uh, a lot of this stuff is, uh, from the workshop. I've definitely seen a lot of this stuff over the years. A space elevator, we could pass on that. I have no idea where I'm going and what I'm doing next, but I think the black hole is calling me, so maybe that is no that is that with a uh what is that i, I don't know all the names of the ships in star wars uh yeah i thought i did but it's not coming to me the falcon maybe a coaster maybe or look at this we got a little cantina a little star wars inspired cantina oh a dive coaster okay this is interesting let's see what we got going on over here this is uh 1.4 kilometers in length 6.3 vertical g's nine inversions seven airtime counts this is ridiculous uh do we have any music on this it's a sci-fi coaster so we're just we're gonna slap something sci-fi ish on here planet epoch dark ride sure um it's taking forever to come back This is absolutely insane. <laughs> you see all those spotlights? Uh, if I just slap enough Star Wars stuff from the workshop around, I can make a sci-fi land. <laughs> There is no cohesion in the theme. -ed. Oh, but I, I I love it. I just, you know, Planet Coaster's about having fun, you guys. And uh, I could tell that this person was having a lot of fun. They obviously watched the show because they managed to get a submission to me. And they're probably going to be watching this when I notify them on Steam that they have been featured in a spotlight. So just know, um, I forgot the creator's name. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it here. Old Shadow. Just know, I love you, buddy. I'm, 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 I'm only... 
teasing you, but uh, if you have watched the show over the last six years, you will have known <laughs> what my comments and suggestions about path work and theming and uh, flow and you know, sometimes less is more, keeping things simple, keeping things clean. You have broken all of the rules, and that's why you're getting featured here today. <laughs> and we're in the Death Star. I actually, I believe this, I think they said that all of the coasters were made by them, with the exception of one. I'm gonna I guess that this is that exception because I have seen this coaster before. So yeah, I've been on this, and uh, we'll just, we'll give it another go. I mean, we probably wanna go back tonight for this, but this was created by somebody else, and, uh, I've definitely seen it before. Let's go. Oh, I just realized my mic was muted. <laughs> uh, I'm losing track of so many things. Hopefully, uh... <laughs> I was only muted in between the last coaster and this, so that is fine. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I said, <laughs> I don't know what I said now. Oh, well, rip this whole this whole episode is a mess. <laughs> I got so many things to keep track of. Oh, no. I was laughing at the fact that it was choose your path and then there was exit only. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get lost in this park. We're eventually going to have to hit up the ride list here because uh, I'm not going to find everything manually. Anyways, enjoy the rides. We're going to do them back to back.
Okay, we are <clears throat> unmuting the mic. I gotta make sure to check that. I'm not used to muting my mic and unmuting my mic this often and uh, this many times throw to park spotlight. There are, there are just so many things to talk about and look at. This is, the, I like the battle between Thor and Loki. There were some pretty cool effects there. While these coasters can be a little bit insane at times, I actually uh, find myself thoroughly entertained. <laughs> It's actually quite amusing. There's just so much chaos, and I embrace the chaos. Is there something down here? Probably. Where are we going now? We are shift zoomy zoomy zooming. The tube! All right. We're going down into the YouTube. Here we go. Uh, jumping off the railing into what lays beneath is a monorail. Wah, wah, wah. I am not doing... Wait, maybe the monorail takes us somewhere. Where is it going? Uh, um, <laughs> it's literally a tube that goes on for 18,000 meters. That's 18 kilometers. That would be a two hour episode right there. Oh. <laughs> God, like just when you thought it couldn't get more ridiculous. I do appreciate the exit signs though, by the way. Low-key Bob? Oh, this guy is low-key a Bob. Oh boy, but um, I am losing my insanity, my sanity. Oh, there's beds. Instead of putting your luggage away and your, your key valuables, you can take a nap. All right, uh, what do we have here, Mr. Loki Bob? It's a bobs <laughs> bobsled, of course. A 1.8 kilometer bobsled. Oh my freaking God. We need a song for this bobsled. Let's go to like some, some classical music. Uh, I don't know what is classical. Swift Drifters, let's do that. Here we go. bobsled I have ever seen. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is the 10th coaster in the park. That means we are officially one third of the way or one fifth of the way through the park spotlight. And my recording says almost 40 minutes now. Oh my freaking goodness. That means we're going to be going for a while. <laughs> Now, what is kind of awesome, this is what I consider a messy park. It's 
<laughs> it's so brilliantly messy. Oh, we're not going on this boat ride. In the past, when I see things like this, and I actually don't even know when this was submitted, but I could check later, but uh, when I see submissions like this that are just complete gong shows of messy coasters and wacky pathing and insane theming that like it, it it's it's somebody obviously put a lot of effort into this and there are some redeemable qualities and and obviously the person had fun uh i just in comparison to what we normally see when we have these park enthusiasts that take the game super seriously and try to hand place everything to perfection uh you know it just it's 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 a shocking contrast to what we're used to seeing is what what i mean and everything's just getting a little bit messy a little bit crazy but it's still a lot of fun in the past like i would have opened up a park like this and you know you guys want to see like beauty and amazement and all this crazy stuff and uh you want to see super serious parks and realism parks and yada 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 the list goes on so normally something like this would i would be like well if i open this up and i get five frames per second you guys are gonna be like well what is this johnny <laughs> the quality isn't what we're normally used to seeing um but then also uh it's running like crap and now with my supercomputer, I can actually appreciate these things. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Good googly moogly, it's Top Thrill Dragster. Top Thrill 2 is officially out. Would you look at that? <laughs> oh my god! That is actually awesome. And, um... <laughs> this is... Whoa! Holy moly! This is actually kind of insanely cool. And this is what I, my point that I was leaning up to is that I can actually open up something like this and at least give it a chance. If I'm gonna risk putting a spotlight out there that is completely 100% cringe compared to what we're used to seeing and I only get uh, five frames per second PowerPoint presentation slideshow I'm afraid I might upset some of the viewers. Because <laughs> you guys would have been like, well, this took the place of what, like an MKP park or something else, you know what I mean? But luckily for you guys, I am doing a bonus video, an extra spotlight this week. I'm trying to, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up with it, but I've been consistent with uh, Thursdays and um, Saturdays, but I'm trying to add in another park on Tuesdays. So I'm, I'm just trying to up the ante here as well as bring some reruns and refeatures of previous old park spotlights. I'm just going crazy with the content, you guys. And that's why um, I'm switching it up. We're switching it up. And this is what we get for a switch up. But to my previous point, again, something like this that was in my inbox before that I'll be like, I have to wait like 40 minutes to download this. Probably going to get copyright striked. It's going to be a slideshow. It's going to be an absolute disaster. Uh, I would just normally go, nope, next. Let's see what, let's take a, a submission that takes itself a little bit more seriously. But to my surprise, you know, is as Floki. We got Loki, Floki, Floki, Bob. Uh, all the Flokies and Lokis are in here. Um, but to my surprise, this is actually a lot of fun. It's a ridiculous amount of fun. It's insanity. So if I'm going to feature something like as ridiculous as this, what are we doing for... Let's just do like head in the clouds fast. I don't know. I, I just... We're going to run out of options here. Uh, if I'm going to feature something as ridiculous as this, why not, you know, do it now that I have my supercomputer, right? We got, uh, I got to write this down, Floki. Now that we got a supercomputer, we can't, we can't really go like, oh, well, it's running at five frames per second and we can actually appreciate it. Like this is actually running and looking quite good, all things considered. And I love to see the craziness in full HD 4K. Uh, with a pretty decent frame rate. It makes a ridiculous experience actually even more enjoyable. And it turns out this insanity is actually quite fun. <laughs> Let's go.
Now, all things, uh, <clears throat> all jokes aside, when this creator does uh, take themselves, like they, <clears throat> what am I trying to think? Thoughts, one second. Let me clear my throat. Uh, Floki in Viking lore was the shipbuilder. They used the water cascade ship coaster and um, made a water coaster around ships, but then all the triggered events in that cave are actually quite impressive, and it's actually kind of a fun experience. This creator was aiming to make a bunch of cool experiences, and what's more impressive to me is they're probably doing it on a computer that was even older than my old computer, running this at five frames per second, and still putting triggered events in and riding all their rides again. Um, so I, I definitely commend the effort gone into this and as as a, well, while I say it was like a kind of a messy park Just like plopping things down plopping things down and just going crazy um, There are actually some captivating views and vistas and I think if this is if it's if this creator Looked at some of the other parks like MKP parks and pixelated uh, pixel West parks and different things like that And took some notes on what uh, these these people do for like viewpoints vistas landmarks uh, things that draw you your attention points of interest all of that stuff and then flow because like we keep running into these dead ends and now i have to backtrack your 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 mongar your mundur if yeah if you take some notes from what the other builders do and incorporate that with like uh you know your your fun concepts i think you can make some pretty cool parks that l go for quality over quantity next time <laughs> because it's even there's like a ton of quantity here some of it is actually pretty good in quality as well and i'd say that if you um okay let's do like a fantasy song what's a good fantasy song let's uh let's do the dragon dungeon when you're doing this much quantity, it's hard to get the quality up. Even though some of these experiences have been pretty good quality experiences, they're always gonna lack in some areas because you're like, I gotta make the next coaster, the next one, the next one. And you kind of lose yourself in the process. But that process is somebody having fun. So I'm just gonna appreciate the fun that they had and uh, go along this journey with them. And I'm glad I got you guys for the ride with me. This has been an experience so far. Let's uh, let's go on the flying coaster here. I think that giant tree end was made by Combat Wombat.
Holy good googly moogly ladies and gentlemen. I didn't look at the ride stats for this one Did I because that was three kilometers in length with max speeds of 75 miles per hour and that was the uh, Yormonger. Let's write that down. Hopefully, uh, I've still kept track of everything according to my list We have ridden only 13 of the 48 coasters. Oh my freaking goodness Whew. Again, to my previous point, though, these experiences have been exactly that. And I saw, like, okay, did... Oh, okay, that was the top thrill coaster. I saw some coasters peeking out the top of those volcanoes, and I was like, is there more back here? I don't even know. I'm getting so turned up. I think the biggest downside to this park is that there's no pass leading me back, and I got to backtrack. And then um, there's so many, like, different routes at all these intersections that I'm just like... Have I been here? Where am I going? But again, qu quant quality over quantity next time. I think you actually have some good concepts. If you just take your time and just really hammer in the Viking theme and just keep adding, keep adding, keep adding, but you know, go a little bit less on how how spread out everything is and condense things a little bit more. Um, I think you, uh, you know, you can really zone in and make some compelling areas, even if you're using the Steam Workshop for majority of your assets. That's quite okay. Now, what I do appreciate is the length of the coasters. It's like, I, I like going on a big, long exploration coaster. And one of the things that Park uh, Coaster Spotlight has been lacking lately in my inbox is the fact that there are almost no exploration coasters. And some of the parks that I've been featuring recently are, they have a lot of coasters, but they're all pretty short in length. And I would say this park doesn't slouch in any department in terms of quantity. The hills have eyes. So again, flow i walk into movie zone oh, i guess this is hills has eyes which is a movie right but i feel like i'm getting like <laughs> i'm led into somewhere completely different um but i guess yeah this i i, I remember watching the hills have eyes a long ass time ago and this kind of gives me the hills has vibes vibes wow okay this is creepy hopefully there's no copyright issues here there's movie screens and stuff i'm gonna try not to look at them the hills have eyes roller coaster let's write this down there's look at all the results. Four miles or four kilometers? No music. Uh, we're gonna need, um, what do we do? Like spooky? Western. Let's go like a spaghetti. I don't even know. Old town? Let's try that. Okay, I think this one's leaving. Old town is probably not the move here. Yeah, this one just left the station. Oh my goodness. What am I doing here? seat view. All right. I need something to um, drown out the sounds of the movie. Even they said, um, I thought that I downloaded the copyright free stuff. I didn't. There's still more copyright stuff in here. But here we go. The hills have eyes. Uh, it's like a giga coaster. What are we doing here?
<laughs> I love it. Coaster is actually kind of fun, and I, I appreciate the um, the sentiment of going like, you know what? I just want to make a really massive coaster that explores the back areas of my park, and I'm gonna put as many coaster elements in as I possibly can, and I'm just gonna have fun. And I appreciate the fun factor. And then you just go like, what do I call this? I don't know. Hills have eyes. It has nothing to do with the hills has eyes, but you download these images. You made this little hills have eyes uh, truck stop or whatever, and then you're like, there you go. That's my coaster. <laughs> it's just like it's so hilarious to me, but also kind of like fun you know i can appreciate someone just going like i'm gonna bang out a really long five kilometer coaster and just like put as much stuff as i can explore the back hills and just go this is looking crazy over here we got like a superman coaster a dracula coaster this is actually movie land here oh this is a dracula flat ride maybe i don't even know what to expect anymore there's superman there this is the bat training you get spun around and they're shooting bat cannons at us i don't even know what's back here do i even go back there just to turn around again let's go ride superman here <laughs> let's go fly through the skies with superman and there's the big wheel uh, i uh, uh i what why do i feel like superman should be here and then there's just a wait there's two cues oh i see it's hidden behind the superman sign ah all right so this should be kind of fun big city it's a winged coaster maybe a flying coaster would have been more suitable here we got no music what is like a good superman i think uh is it head in the ride the storm i believe is the one we want i'm actually gonna do track view for this even though it's a winged coaster i just want yeah i just want the track view let's go Googly, moogly. That was actually quite fun flying around the city like that. 
My goodness, I think I forgot to look at the ride stats again. 2.6 kilometers in length, 10 inversions on that. Uh, wow. I was not prepared for this episode. <laughs> I should have had lunch first. I usually like wake up, pick out some spotlights, figure out what I want to do for the, the, the day. And then I record one or two and then go get some food. Here I am at the point going, I'm gonna be locked into this for the next two hours, aren't I? I'm gonna be starving by the end of this. East Tower Ghostbusters. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. All right, there's a look at all the ride stats if you want to see them and we got one taken off right now. No music. Let's, let's get some music on here. A cosmic balance. Did I turn it tonight or? No, they used a day-night sequencer, didn't they? Wow, I'm actually impressed by that. That was Ghost 2. Let's write that down, Ghost 2. I can tell that this crater was like a kid in the candy store with uh, Planet Coaster. They're like, oh, I gotta do a, a Superman ride. I gotta, I gotta do a Ghostbusters ride. Oh, oh, I gotta do a Hills of Ice ride. There's just so much stuff that they wanted to do and they just were like, this, this game is my canvas and I am going to plaster down everything until they are reached and uh, achieved. You know what, there was this way back here that might have been a dead end. Okay, we're gonna do some zoomy zooms. I have to see if this actually led somewhere. But yeah, this person had a lot of fun with this. Graph, where are we now? What What is this? And that's what Planet Coaster is all about, expressing your creativity. And even if you, uh, you have to use the workshop to do that, or you just get a little crazy. I mean, this area is looking really nice and it's probably from the workshop, but the, the creator put it down Figured out how they're going to integrate the ride into it. Oh, this is the Dracula ride. Here's a look at all the stats on Dracula. Do we have some kind of spooky music? No, we don't. So we'll do that. There we go. This is a quite a nice atmosphere. You know, as much as I was memeing on this park, the more I go in, the more I like it. There's some pretty cool rides here. 
Some pretty good atmospheres. It's just, um, it's just a little bit on the messy side, right? And I think this creator just needs a little bit of guidance. So my message to the creator would be to, you know, come join us on Discord as well as anyone else that's interested in this game in this community. Uh, we have a wonderful Discord that can help you, you know, give feedback to you and help you along your way. But like, you know, doing foliage and different things like that, there's a lot of things done. Like even just this view here, look at it. it looks great. It's, it's something you would see from, you know, like... I, 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 yeah, the Incredible Hulk. A lot of this stuff is from the workshop, though. So it's like putting other people's stuff together in compelling ways is still a skill, in my opinion. It still takes creativity. It still takes an eye for detail and just figuring out where am I going to put this and why. I think using this, the Steam Workshop is going to save you a lot of time, but you still have to hand place all the trees and all the rocks and, you know, figure out how your pathing goes. And um, I think those are some of the things that this creator could learn to dial back a little bit, you know, um, instead of making these long, winding, never-ending paths that don't really make sense and lead to dead ends, figure out, like, a good, like gray block your park out figure out where you want things to go ahead of time you know this person just kind of like freehanded everything and as a result you get this little bit of unorganized chaos but um unorganized chaos can be fun time to time yeah just a little bit more organizational skills some planning and i think you're onto something dial it back instead of having 48 coasters go with 25 and then put twice the amount of detailing into them but nonetheless some of these have been pretty fun experiences would you guys not agree let me know down below are you having fun are you still tuned in let's uh let's go ride what is this the predator right let's check this one out going back uh back of the train rmc i didn't pick a song crap ride the storm let's go wrong choice but we're going with it <laughs> Ooh, did I just see a Back to the Future ride? <laughs> oh, pretty, uh, pretty good atmosphere on that one. Some great special effects. Definitely hitting on those Predator vibes. I saw some cool custom images as well. Not bad at all. Coasters have been a little bit on the nutty side. I'm not really trying to comment on them too much because when you're going for a park ride, park ride? When you're going for, um, oh, it's a train ride. Okay, we're skipping on that. I wonder, they said it's 48 coasters, but there has been a lot of boat rides, transport rides, rides, and that sort of thing. Are those included in the, the total of 48, I wonder? Or is it like 48 plus, 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 plus? <laughs> uh, so I think the Back to the Future here is the triple go-karts that I saw. I actually really like this concept and it, the, even just like how the setup is. This is kind of cool. All these bridges with the, the stuff underneath. I've never actually seen anyone do like dueling go-karts before. And I think that's a good concept. I actually really like that. I want to see someone make me a go-kart world where there's like multiple go-kart circuits it's a lot of really interesting tracks with a lot of different theming. I would love that. And I like this concept here, but the tracks, unfortunately, don't look that fun. 
Um, there's not a lot of theming. The tracks are simple, long stretches. Like it's not really going through any terrain. It's just plopped on top of the train. Therefore, I'm going to skip on all three of these go-karts. I don't really care to ride them, but I love the concept there. And I want to point that out there because if anybody gives me like a go-kart world where it's like the main focus is just really awesome go-karts, I 100% want to go check something like that out. Uh, that still has never been done. Dr. Jones, I every t everywhere I turn, I just find another ride. This is just really insane. We can't walk two minutes without hitting another ride. What is this Q work here? Doc Dr. Jones is a monorail. What? With a coaster on top. What is happening? It's a swinging mine train, Lauren run. Lauren run, okay. Uh, swinging mine train, let's go with some sort of uh, Western, Western. You know what? Let's go with the bluegrass. How long is the coaster? Oh, it's only a kilometer. Never mind. not worthy. Gotta give credit where credit is due. There's some really fun interactions between the coasters and it just, you know, a lot of happy accidents as well because there are so many coasters in this park interacting with one another. Earlier on in the park, when we were kind of like in the heart of it and there's just coaster tracks everywhere, it was a little bit overwhelming, a little bit zany and, and claustrophobia, uh, but there's something also kind of compelling about that because it's not something you see every day. Um, wait, is there multiple rides in this tower? I have no idea what's happening. Maybe not. These, this path network system, guys, has got me all sorts of turned up. It's the Terror Temple. There's a ta there's a tower of terror in here pack for adventure. Are you kidding me? Okay, again, credit where credit is due. Crater having fun and all. Actually went through the effort to make a uh, a Horror Heights, which I probably should go at nighttime. Let's see if they actually pack this full of detail or not. Staff pickup and registration? <laughs> sure. So I want to say that I've seen this before, and the fact that this creator says that um, they use other people's blueprints, there's a good chance that this whole thing could have been a blueprint on the workshop, but it doesn't... I don't know. 
did they they modified it they did say that they modified blueprints so that could have been a pre-built ride existing on the workshop from somebody that they kind of built into that whole thing there but uh, I was saying earlier that I haven't seen a Horror Heights in a while, so that's the first Horror Heights we've seen in a very long time. Another boat ride, or just part of uh, one of many stops on a very long boat ride. Uh, looks like we're finally, like, looping back around to what was the sci-fi area of the park, but I know I must have missed a dozen rides throughout this area of the park. So, um, what do we have here? It is the Top Gun. Very cool. We got a hangar bay and everything. Some neat movie signs. Top Gun. America. Let's go. Top Gun, no music. What's a good Top Gun song? We need like a electronic? Float to the sky. I don't know if this is good or not, but we're going with it. Here's a look at the ride stats if you want to see them. Two kilometers in length. It's going without us. We better get on. Here we go. freaking wait i keep seeing these signs everywhere rambo and indiana jones and all these different rides and i'm like where are these rides how have i just came from there how have i missed this and I, i'm i'm like swear to god i'm trying my best to keep an eye out for all the cues rambo okay here we go with the rambo but this park is truly a maze and if we are have only ridden 22 21 coasters this will be our 22nd on the list there's a look at the ride stats 1.2 kilometers in length we need a ride uh, a song for rambo i, I re uh, named the ride for some reason there um what's a good rambo song i'm running out of song options i knew this would be a problem
Wow. I'm actually impressed by the uh, amount of triggers and the storytelling and I guess the uh, atmospheric storytelling throughout that ride. Again, uh, going with the whole concept of uh, what I what I commend about this creator, and a lot of people struggle with this, is sometimes in our art, anything you're doing, anything creative, it's all about the broad strokes, getting your ideas down on the paper. Some people get stuck at like, you know, what what is the first line I put on the paper? What is the first thing? And trying to uh, create perfection instantaneously. Like, everything's got to be perfect. I got a I gotta micro detail. You know, there's like, if you think of like the two types of drawing, some people just do these perfect renders and they're doing every little stroke is perfect until like they make like a realistic, perfect render of a drawing. Other people like to block out the shapes, circles, big, uh, big base circles here and there. And then they refine as they go. This creator uh, did a great job at uh, broad strokes, just getting their ideas down. And I think that's like uh, pretty important. It's pretty, pretty good. And through that, they got to do everything that they wanted to do, even though it may lack polish compared to things we've seen in the past.
Holy freaking Toledo's. How long was that coaster? That was like five kilometers. That was like a tour around the entire theme park. Oh my God. What, what was that ride called, by the way? I need to keep track of it. I called it Back to the Future. DeLorean ride. Uh, has nothing to do with Back to the Future at all. <laughs> And that's what I kind of love about this park. I got to get away from these royalties, these copyright sounds. Uh, I kind of regret going on that at night. I thought it was going to be like a nighttime experience for some reason. Wait, is there another Ragnarok? I'm so confused. Wasn't Ragnarok on the other side of the park? What I, 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 I as, I, as we're going through this park, I'm gaining more. Oh, it's a chairlift. Ragnarok is a chairlift. Wait, is it really? I don't believe it. It is. Oh my God, where am I going? Um, Is this a, okay, that's an exit only. Uh, as we're going through this park, I'm gaining more and more of an appreciation for how insane this is. These multiple plazas, right? It's almost like Movie Zone has multiple entrances, but then they don't tie together. Like, I, I don't really know how this works. Same with this area. Or they do, and it's just confusing as heck. But yeah, I, I gain more of an appreciation the more we go... Oh, the labyrinth. The more we go through uh, the park. That ride there was a five kilometer tour through the whole park. I wish we got to see it at day, but you get to really see like, like I say, the, the creator does a lot of broad strokes and it's literally insane if you look at this. Oh, this leads us back to the beginning, right? That's kind of where we started. It is a lot of broad strokes and insanity, but when it all comes together, there's just a lot of eye candy. There's a lot of visuals. There's a lot to look at. You know, this person put all of this stuff in one by one by one by one. It does create for an atmosphere and visuals of something we've never seen before. And seeing that Back to the Future coaster, the DeLorean ride's got to be my favorite so far. I do wish I wrote, wrote it at day, but this there's too many coasters for us to ride them both at day and night. But yeah, it really goes to show how big the park was. I was like, oh, Oh my god i was seeing things that i hadn't seen yet and i'm like where's that in the park what is that and it just goes to show like the pure and utter scale of everything and how much has really gone into this it's really quite insane so here we go another two kilometer long coaster it's green across the board we're gonna throw some sort of oh it's got action coaster on there perfect i think we're gonna go uh i think we need to go at night for this one it's going backwards let's go I see a, a Matrix Sentinel. I think that was made by Extraordinaire. Freaking we! I usually don't like boomerangs. They can be ge generic and boring, but the bunker escape, definitely a crazy layout on that and some amazing visual effects and triggered events. Pretty cool. Got a little bit of a Matrix vibe going on there. I think I, ha I had a reshade off for that. Oops. So many things to remind myself to do during this recording. And here we go. That was 24 coasters. So that marks, if there are truly 48, uh, that marks the halfway point of the video. And we're at an hour and 40 minutes on my recording. I cut out a lot of like little stuff, like setting up the rides and little things like that. Uh, I usually chop out like 10 to 20 minutes 
of content just to speed things up because the videos are so long. Any stalling, any waiting, um, any any delays in the in the episode, you know, isn't good for retention. So we try to speed it up as much as possible. But if you're watching Park Spotlights and you're not skipping to the coasters and you're actually watching me walk around like some people do, which I recently did a poll and found out that 78% of you watch the full thing, which is you know, pretty amazing. And my YouTube analytics say I have a, a retention span of between 20 or 30%, which I think the average is like 5%. So my audience is definitely uh, patient. Let's put it that way. You guys appreciate the long format content. That all being said, uh, what was I? I lost my train of thought. I don't need to chop out that much content because you guys are already pretty patient. So I appreciate that, but I also want to try to get the videos as snappy as possible, even though they're long form videos. So there's a look at all the stats. We got the Albatross Air, the 25th coaster in the park. That is insane for me to say. I think we've officially set a world record. I think the, the park that had the most coasters ever was 24 coasters or something maybe 28 i don't know off the top of my head um i don't know what i'm gonna pick for music music for gondolas sure we're gonna go with this we're gonna sit in the bucket the game here is don't flip the bucket let's see if we flip the bucket here i haven't ridden one of these in a very very long time there's also a crazy wooden coaster that i haven't seen like what is all this? Where are we now? Is this like the never... This is the biggest park I've ever seen in my life, I think. was a bit jarring didn't flip the bucket but a lot of heavy swings on that not the most enjoyable ride experience for me in my opinion where are we going what are we doing albatross air there's a whole pirate area back here it's like park it's a park within a park everywhere we turn there's more park the pearl I, it made, i'm starting to believe that there are actually 48 coasters in this park okay that is um swinging pirate ship but i do want to make in a guess that the rides were included as coasters uh, i guess they could have worded it 48 rides including coasters but for all i know there are actually 48 coasters because everywhere we turn we just find more stuff it just never ends there's more and more and more if there is actually 48 coasters and rides and transport rides and tour rides and dark rides this is by far the largest park i've ever seen in uh park spotlight history 1.2 kilometer giga coaster let's go and so far if we're hitting the two hour mark here it is almost breaking the record for the longest park spotlight and we're nowhere near done so i think this one is going to set the record for the longest park spotlight in park spotlight history oh boy
Hoo wee! And that was called the Green Mamba. I really regret not having lunch before starting this, or I guess by the time I finish this, it's gonna be dinner. I made a big pot of chili yesterday, and it turned out amazing. At least all I have to do is heat up a bowl of chili, make some garlic bread, and then uh, I can get back to it. <laughs> but I don't want to like pause the recording to go eat because then I'll have to reload the park or just leave my CPU melting while this runs in the background. So I kind of just want to tough it out and keep going. However, uh, I feel like I'm going to throw up everywhere. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I, got, I got the hunger sickness. Uh, I'm going to get hangry by the end of this. I am already exhausted from talking for two straight hours. I still planned on doing two other park recordings, which I'm probably not going to be able to do now. And part of me is uh, regretfully regretting the decision of going with the idea of doing three park spotlights a week. <laughs> We're gonna have to squeeze in some mini parks from here on out, I think. I am not going on the River Rapids. I walked all the way down that queue just to find a River Rapids, and I'm sorely disappointed by that. What do we have here? What's the sign say? Secret Submarine. Okay, it's gonna be like a monorail, isn't it? Oh, it's a train ride, but there's also forking branching paths. Oh, let's go to the Nautilus first. I am getting so lost. Definitely one of the worst layouts I've ever seen in a park. Oh! There's another park underneath the park. Perfect. That's where you're hiding all the coasters. Well, here we go. Uh, the Nautilus. What is going on in here? That actually looks like a little submarine. That's cool. All right. Green across the board. What do we got going on in here? Some sort of uh, reverse freefall coaster. Interesting. Let's do seat view. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I love that. Okay, that, that was, uh, that's a good reverse free fall. You got the doors on the ship there. Actually feels like a little submarine. I like the fact that we got to like poke out the, the top of the ocean there, the lake, and um, see see everything. And there's like a little shark swimming around and stuff. That's kind of cool. All right, now we're going to go down this branching forking path of the park and look at there. There's like a dozen coasters back there. So maybe this will lead us to some more rides and attractions. Oh, where am I? Okay. We're cut in line. There's all sorts of loud, noisy, copyright free, not copywritten stuff going on here. Pirates of the Car Caribbean. I don't know. What is this? Oh, because of the music going, I don't know if I can actually do this. And I actually feel like this builder didn't make this, but took it off of the workshop, maybe. Yeah, it doesn't look too interesting, to be honest. And these parabolic screens don't have any videos on them. Okay, we're skipping on this. All right. All right, we, we, we gotta at some point start taking shortcuts. We're two hours in. I am not, I haven't been skimping out on the con, uh, content or uh, as much as I have been sort of rushing things. I've also been thoroughly taking my time. I just know that there's so much to get through that I'm kind of in a hurry in between stuff. Is there anything else in Pirate Land that I've missed that I, okay, Green Mamba, DeLorean ride. Some of the, the, some of the coasters go so far out that they're in completely different areas. And that's why when we were in the sci-fi land, I was like, I think I missed a dozen rides. Well, no, there's just a dozen rides passing through that area of the park. <laughs> Much like all the path work and uh, intertwined systems here, um, I am completely getting lost. Okay, now we can go into what seems to be Westworld, uh, another whole park spotlight. Yep, Westworld. Oh my freaking goodness. It just doesn't end. It just doesn't end. Get some remedies. The terror wheel. I'm gonna assume that is some sort of... Oh, I've seen this before. This was a submission to one of our contests. That was our ride skin contest one. Somebody made that for. Okay, uh... The Wild West ride, and that's probably gonna be the flat ride, right? Yeah, but there's also like this crazy wooden coaster in this area that I definitely want to go check out. Uh, a whole bunch of cues here. Hangman, and Hangman is the ride skin from the ride skin contest. Just uh, a trip in memory lane. I don't remember who made this off the top of my head, but we, we made it so you had to skin a ride and do something interesting with it. And the hammer swing actually swings out left and right outside of this tower in this perfect little divot slash 
groove here. So that was one of our Channel 5 gaming community members that submitted this for a contest many, many years ago. There's a lot of uh, things in this park that I'm recognizing. So there's another train ride. We're not gonna go on the train ride. Oh my God, there's people making out over there. Uh, okay, this saloon, I wanna say that Zafor made this. Maybe? There used to be a rodeo ride in here, if it's the one I'm thinking of. I could be wrong, but I feel like Zayfor made that. Somebody made this for a ride shop contest. It might have been part of the same contest I was thinking of. Okay, so where's that other queue? That's a pathway, and God knows where pathways go in this park. So I'm gonna go on this because it's a mining action coaster, probably. My goodness, look at all the smoke and stuff. It's kind of a cool atmosphere. <sighs> Breathe, Johnny, breathe. I am starving, guys. The dead mines. What do we have going on over here? Uh, the monster. This is the gigantic 2.2 kilometer wooden coaster with eight vertical G-forces on this. Holy moly. Do we have a spaghetti roller coaster? I was gonna say, you know what? Screw it, we're changing it. We're gonna go with Planet Bluegrass on this one. Something deserves to get the bluegrass going. We're gonna go back of the train for this and uh, I'll cut to it when it's ready. go let's freaking go this park is like an onion guys it just has layers upon layers go big or go home right and i gotta say uh I, I mentioned this earlier it's like broad strokes right just getting your ideas down on the canvas so that you can create your art and get it done you don't get a park this big this chaotic and this wild and and this much fun to be honest i've been having a lot of fun there's a lot of really good hidden areas in this park really good like views and vistas and all sorts of crazy stuff and 
and some really amazing rides at that. I've I have I've had a lot of fun with a lot of this stuff. You don't you don't get this far without just getting it down. And I think just going to the Steam Workshop and just plastering stuff down and going 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 can actually result in some pretty crazy rides and attractions. How the heck are we supposed to get up here? I'm just so confused. There's this whole what? Was this like area back here? How did I miss this? Oh, you go through here but yeah like uh i think if this creator just did things the way that they did i mean they had so many dreams and ambitions right and they just wanted to get it all out and they accomplished that over the four years that it took them to build this and i have to actually commend them and you know nod my hat to them and say you accomplished something pretty crazy and pretty big it would have been nice to see things a little bit more organized but at the same time there's a charm about it there's a little bit of a charm and, and uniqueness about this. And some, I, I don't know, this area is like really cozy and crazy. And it only gets that look and that feel by doing it the way that this player person did it. There's something special about that. I think in the future, just try to tone back the your ideas into like two parks or something. And then just when you get it all down, do a second pass of just detail and polish. And then, you know, you're, you're onto something, but I gotta say, you can only experience something like this once. We're doing it. <laughs> We're here. We're here for it. It's a mine train canyon runner. Uh, probably insane stats, 1.3 kilometers in length. Let's go. It's one guy on this ride. Holy Toledos. This park is like a fine wine. It gets better with time. It gets better with age. <laughs> I actually, I like how long that mine train was. Like it was snaking around, snaking through all the tracks. I think they also like swapped out the track or something because I didn't, I didn't recognize it. it it looked to me like it was uh, using a different track type. It's very interesting the way they did it. It's all, it's got the maintenance um, paths on it. It's kind of insane. This takes us to the steam train. What is the steam train? Look at these paths. Oh, I was already up there. That's the, the wooden coaster. And there's, what is this white coaster? DeLorean. Oh, the DeLorean passes through here. The DeLorean goes through everything. I almost feel like we need to re-ride the DeLorean in um, a daytime. It was so crazy. It took you around the whole park. I loved it. Now, we'll see. Apparently, that was our coaster number 29. So, uh, if there really is like another 20 coasters, I'm probably not going to ride the DeLorean at day. <laughs> but I have a feeling it includes all of the boat rides, the transport rides, and all of that. But even as advertised as 48 coasters, I think we got a lot. The most coasters I've ever seen in a park. And uh, there's still more. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I'm circling back and uh, I'm back to like where we started and I don't even know where to go from here. So all that being said, we walked through here, then we went to movie land. We did all of that. We came back through 
this part of the movie land. We did all the Ragnarok stuff in the back. Then we went to Pirate Land and we did uh, the Western as well. So in terms of like a walkthrough, I can say that I can hang my hat up and say that I did walk through this whole park, even though it took me what my recording says two hours and five minutes. Wow, that's definitely one of the longest park spotlights in park spotlight history. But are we done yet? Because I've only documented 29 roller coasters. And this is where I have to like just say enough is enough. Let's go to the ride list. So I gotta I might get confused here with like, you know, oh, that's a flat ride, right? That sort of thing. So I'm gonna need a minute. I'm gonna jump from one to one and see see what happens. Okay, I have found a ride called the TIE Fighter. I'm going to do this one at daytime. Got one taken off right now. It's a gas lower. Let's go. Okay, there's a ride called Jaws. It is the log flume, but we're gonna skip on that. Okay, we got a ride here called R2D2 that I missed. Here's a look at the coaster stats there. There is this monstrosity called Too Deep down in the depths of the belly of the park. It's a Typhoon Infinite. Oh my freaking God. Creepy ambient music. Uh, it's probably copywritten, so we're going to go with something spooky instead.
Um, I found a dark ride called the Adams Family, but a quick look at it. I think we could pass on this one for today. It's a generic, you know, take a tour through a spooky house kind of dark ride. Nothing too crazy there, but there it is. It's got the Adams Family in here. All right, found a ride called Doc Hudson. It's a launch coaster. No idea where the entrance for this was, but we're gonna give it a go. A spinning spiral coaster called Cthulhu, yet again buried underneath the park. A park within a park. Parkception. Holy freaking moly. Wow, that was actually pretty damn awesome. I like that ride. Okay, I found a ride called Temple Escape, which is different than the Terror Temple that we rode previously. And it is also a launch coaster as well. It looks like we have one right in the station. Perfect. We'll probably do track view for this guy. Oh my freaking God. Apparently, underneath the park, there's a whole Tron experience ride. Red and blue. I cannot believe this park. Are you kidding me?
completely unnecessary, but also like just goes to show how ambitious this creator is. It, it, I mean, it lacked polish from compared to what we've seen from other Tron rides, but this person wanted to do a Tron ride and they added a Tron ride. We're going to skip going on blue, but there's red and blue for you right there. And holy guacamole. Uh, I don't even know what to say. So when we went on the Ghostbusters ghost ride, apparently it was a dueling coaster and there's one going in the opposite direction called Ghost 1. We rode Ghost 2. They're pretty much the same coaster duplicated and rotated, but uh, that was a coaster we missed. And that concludes the ride list. Holy moly, ladies and gentlemen. So my little list here that I was making uh, says 38 roller coasters that we actually went on by the end of the episode. Um, not really including the Tron, uh, the Tron Blue and the Ghost One, but they were dueling coasters. So we did actually look at 38 total roller coasters throughout this experience. And that means while there was 48 advertised, those, those other 10 that were missing are things like the Law Dog flume, the river rapids. There was a dark ride that we took a look at. Um, there's a few extra dark rides in here. Possibly even the train rides and monorails are included in that. So all in all, there are 48 rides in this park as advertised, but we actually only rode 38 roller coasters total. But I say only, and I, I I'm just trying. <laughs> It's advertised as 48, but we went on 38. I still can't say that's anything to complain about. Uh, that's a lot of content right there. In fact, I've never, ever, ever gone on 38 attractions in a singular uh, coaster spotlight or park spotlight ever. I mean, there's more rides we went on here today than entire contests of the past. Uh, that is ridiculous. That is a absolutely boatload of content. I don't even know what to say. So if you did click on this video, seeing 48 roller coasters as the thumbnail, technically you got 48 rides, but we only went on 38 of them. <laughs> if you guys want to ride the last 10 rides, uh, links are down in the description below. You can go give the mine train a ride. You can go give the, 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 <laughs> the river rapids a ride, whatever you want. You can go do that. But uh, I'm retiring it here. My recording says two and a half hours, which might end up being an all-time record. I think Tragic Kingdom was over two hours, but it's very rare that a park spotlight goes over two hours, yet alone two and a half, almost three. I know with editing, it'll probably be less, maybe just over two hours. I don't know how much I'm going to cut out of that, but there's no denying that we spent a long time in this park, and I thoroughly walked through all of it and went to every end that the paths could lead us, and then after checking the ride list, there was only an additional eight coasters or something that I missed. So I would say that like I, I nailed like 75% of the rides just walking around the park and I missed a few outliers that were either hidden underground or kind of mixed up in the spaghetti mess over here. Um, yeah, so I think I did a thorough enough job for this. There's so much I want to say, but I already said it while I was walking around. I think... This was a sleeper park. Uh, I, I thought it was all going to be memes and hilariousness. And part of me was like, I want to feature this just because it's so crazy and it'll push my new computer to the limits. Generally, if I would have seen a park like this in the past where it's like, OK, you put a bunch of spaghetti coasters together and, you know, scrambled up some pathways and sent it into me. I kind of just go, OK, whatever next, especially knowing that I'll go ahead and open it and get like four frames a second. Nobody really if, if you guys are going to suffer, if I'm going to make you guys suffer and my myself suffer through four frames per second POVs, uh, it better be the most realistic and cool and immersive park that I've ever seen. But now with the new computer, it's like this, you can throw whatever at me and I can handle it. And therefore all of these rides were at a pretty good frame rate with a ton of guests in the park and a ton of stuff to look at. And because of being able to open it up and not really be disappointed with the PowerPoint presentation, I can actually just go in and appreciate the park for what it is. And through that process, I have made a lot of discoveries that there's a lot of things I actually like about this and the creator themselves put a lot of time and effort into this park. I really think uh, it's a bit of a sleeper in that sense. There's a, like big concepts here and broad strokes. The creator's just like, I want a Tron coaster. I want a Top Gun coaster. I want a Hills Have Eyes, a Superman, da 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 You guys know all the crazy 40-something uh, inventions and concepts that we went through to get to here. And I think they're, uh, you know, while it's messy and while it lacks polish in certain areas and some of the coasters are a bit messy and silly at times, I still think that the broad strokes hit really hard. And I think there's something to learn from this. Maybe not to go too crazy 
like this creator did, but if you're trying to get creative and you're trying to play Planet Coaster, maybe it just helps to just get something down. Just, you know, get building, throw it down, path it, get the coaster in, and then put a theme on it. Slap your Top Gun theme on there, put some, you know, interesting theming around it, go to the Steam Workshop, download a jet, download a a facility some towers some helicopters and just go boom 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 there's my theming let's go to the next one the only thing i would say to then do is don't go to the point where you made 50 rides stop at like 20 and go back and just detail polish and make sure your like your path flow is not like messy and like you know cohesive and kind of wraps around the whole park and makes a nice like circular design where everything kind of leads back to themed areas i feel like this park could have sectioned off their sci-fi a little bit better made the path Path work a little bit cleaner and same could be said for every other area of the park however when we got to the rides and actually rode them there were a lot of them that surprised me that i was like wow tons of triggered effects tons of like interesting animatronics great lighting effects using day night sequencer uh they didn't just put a ride down and call it a day they added to it they went in and did the trigger work and there's a lot of big bold concepts a really wacky and crazy and amazing wooden coaster next to what was a really insane mine train coaster i actually liked the uh the western area quite a bit um there's just a lot of different like interesting concepts that while i look at it from a bird's eye view and go this is a mess why am i ever going to feature this then i get to the ground level walk around and feature it and i walk out of this going huh that was surprisingly fun <laughs> And you got to remember, there's a person on the other side of this creating this uh, painstakingly link, 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 connecting each one of these coaster tracks, hitting smooth on it, and then going, 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 going. This person just blitzed through the content. Just, I got to make this now. I'm going to make this now. I'm going to make this now. Just going, 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 going until they got to this point. And while it is a big, sloppy, messy craziness, there were really good moments. And I think that's that's like the, the vision the person had was uh, that had a was a big visioneer. Take something out of Park Beyond there. They were a visioneer, and they wanted to impossify this park, and they went beyond, <laughs> and they made this, but uh, they just were a little bit sloppy along the way. But there's no denying when you're up close and personal, walking around and going on some of these rides, um, there were some really captivating and memorable moments. I liked it. Not all of it, but I liked it. <laughs> and it just, this is like a great, showcase of just the the steam workshop you know all the crazy millennium falcons that people have made the r2d2s this person took no effort in making anything themselves they just downloaded everything and placed it and it goes to show what kind of crazy creations you can make in planet coaster and how much theming you can do with the assistance of the community however when you go and download like star wars stuff and all the star wars stuff you got to tie it together you got to add more sci-fi theming and more fencing and close it all off and and really just download all the Star Wars stuff and call it like Star Wars area and you're gonna have to actually do some of the work yourself and I think that's where this park lacked a little bit was the filler and the like the polish and the networking and I think there could have been better planning going into this park layout so overall it's it is a mess but it was a unorganized chaos that ended up being a bit of a gem and a lot of fun and i'm exhausted after talking for almost three straight hours and will i say that it was worth it i think so i think this was fun i went into it going what do i have expect this is going to be big memes and laughters and a whole bunch a whole bunch of crazy broken coasters net neck breaking experiences but i think there's a lot of effort gone into this and i'm actually quite proud to put this on my channel and put my seal of approval on it and say that i do approve of this craziness and again this is something on my old computer that I wouldn't even have even considered because it would have been a slog show. Um, it's only with this computer that I have today that I'm able to present this in a tolerable frame rate and have enjoyable experiences. I think otherwise this would have been a complete dumpster fire disaster. Just laggy coaster after laggy coaster after laggy coaster. And you guys would have been literally nauseous by the end of it. And some of you might have been just because we're not even hitting that 30 FPS on this one here today alone. So it's, it's not going to be for everybody. But I had a good time with it. It's pretty good. And I got to commend the creator once again because only on my supercomputer am I able to run this and even then not very well. And I loved at the top of the video, they were like, I limited the park to 10,000 guests due to performance reasons. Like we've never had 10,000 guests in a park ever. And they're like, we stopped there. They won't. <laughs> 
like what? So they were building this park with 10,000 guests, probably on some laptop or like, you know, even just an older computer. This would have been like a three FPS crawl. I am astounded by the amount of stuff that they built at the frame rate that they probably had and to the quality that they did. I'd say like when you get to a certain point when the game comes to a crawl, it's almost impossible to smooth the coaster or make anything half decent. Most of the stuff was half decent. <laughs> So, uh, wow, well done, well done. Patience prevails, and I'm glad I got to uh, shine a light on this creator. Who was this again? Old Shadow. That's, I, I gotta go look at their workshop real, real quick. They just made this and a Top Gun coaster. That's the only thing on their workshop. And uh, this was updated in 2021. When was it submitted? 2021, October, exactly two years ago, oddly enough. So to my previous point is in the past on my old computer, I would have looked at something like this and not even considered it. And that's what happened. I think I, I marked it as like a an interesting concept, but not like something I would come back to. And then I was digging through parks and I think I came along this one. I was digging through parks that I could do on my new computer that were just like absolutely insane computer melting parks. And this was labeled as one of them. So I was like, okay, let's let's pull this one out. So it had to wait until the new computer. But yeah, this one was submitted two years ago. And, uh, you know, I was just not willing to showcase a, a PowerPoint presentation on my old computer for something that was a little bit on the messy side. And now all these years later, I'm actually kind of glad we did this one here today. This was a lot of fun. I think I'm talked out. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> if you like the content on the show and you appreciate the work I go through, to bring you guys daily Planet Coaster content, please consider joining Patreon. Links are down in the description below. I could use some extra support and uh, that's gonna do it for me in today's episode of Park Spotlight. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Bye now. <laughs>